Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Dango Video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get started building up an Astro project. So, uh, all you really need to do is just some requirements. If you don't know anything, just install something called Node.js. And that is a JavaScript runtime, basically, environment. So, you could download this recommended. And I'm not going to reinstall this, but you already, because I already have this installed. Then, install Visual Studio code which is the code editor that we're going to be using today so here it is and it's available for windows linux and mac all right so after installing that you're just going to open this up all right we're just going to open visual studio code just give it a moment because I have a lot of tabs open. All right, so we could just open up a folder, whatever folder you would like to put in your uh, project. So I'm just going to put it over here into my uh, Astro.js folder over here. You could just make it on the desktop. All right, so I already have this opened. So just open up View and then Terminal. Like I have this opened already over here. So if we check out the docs, all right. So in Astro version two over here, let me close this up and just make sure you are in your uh, Astro JS folder. And then you could use Yarn or NPM to install. If you have Visual, if you have Node.js installed, uh that is going to be basically you could use npm which is the node package manager but for this career we're going to be using yarn so all you really need to do is just open up a cmd in command prompt as uh, an administrator i'm sorry and just npm install and then global and then yarn all right so i already have this installed so i'm not going to watch it reinstall but this is how you basically install it all right, just give it a few more moments and it's just going to install Yarn. All right, and then after it's done installing, you could Yarn create Astro. All right, you can also Yarn create that Astro latest, if I, uh, if I remember. You could also use templates, but this is not what we're going to be doing. So Yarn create Astro. All right. And as you can see, it's installed. So if I just press yarn over here, it's gonna basically just show you that yarn is installed. All right. So where would you like to create your new project? This is basically just asking us to the name of the directory. So let's call it uh, Astro.js blog, a few best practices. We're just going to give it a few more moments. Would you like to install your independencies? And we're going to press yes, which is by doing Y. It's just going to take a few more moments to install the packages and everything.
Would you like to initialize a new group repository? No for now. And set up TypeScript with strict. So then we're just gonna cd into so if we just press ls over here, you can just cd into the astro.js blog. Right? And here it is. So that is the project directory and in source, then pages, you could start you press CR and dev. Welcome to astro.js blog, for example. It's basically going to start the Astro development environment. We're just going to give it a few more moments. And on localhost 3000, it has opened up. Let me close this up. And open this one. And here it is, all right. So if we just remove everything over here, we could and see the message that we changed over here. And we could start editing by just basically removing all of this. Let's add in, welcome to Astro.js blog tutorial. We're going to save it and yeah, so that is basically how we set up an Astro.js project. And uh, one last thing, you could just search it in the extensions, extensions of Visual Studio Code Astro. And you could just install this Astro language support, which is going to basically allow you to see the project in this syntax over here. All right, that is pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. This was Angry Video and peace.